Hi guys, this is Mike from Scale Trains again. Joe, Paul and I are down here at the California Southern Model Railroad Club once again and we're taking a closer look at our SG40-2 rivet counter models. We're going to have Paul give you a really close up guided tour. He's also going to correct some uh, things that I misspoke about in the previous video on the Southern SG40-2. So be sure and pay close attention to that one in particular. But I'm going to hand it off to Paul and let him uh, give you a tour. Hello everybody, this is Paul from Scale Trains and today we're going to take a look and listen at our new Admiral Cab SD48-2's lighting and sound functions. This particular version is equipped with a, with a turbocharged 16645 prime mover and it's a non-silenced non exhaust so this is going to be you know, a bit louder than the silenced version we've done on other, other road names and road numbers appropriate. So here we go, let's listen to the startup. There we go. It's gotten settled to an idle. And you hear the air compressor kicks in. Alright, let's take a listen to the bell. These units are equipped with a standard uh, underframe mount steel bell, air operated bell. And let's take a look at the headlights. All scale trans locomotives are equipped with LED head headlights and lit number boards as well in this particular version. And also we have operating ditch lights on both front and rear. A unique feature of Norfolk Southern is that their ditch lights are set to flash alternately when the horn is blown. So when the horn blows, there go the ditch lights. They flash for uh, several seconds. And that horn, by the way, is a Nathan P5, as correct for this particular road number. Here you can see the lit number boards yet again, and the rear ditch lights, which also flash. And here's a close-up look at the Norfolk Southern SD48-2 Rebuild version, sporting its new Admiral Cab. In recent years, NS has been rebuilding its own fleet of SD48-2s, as well as units acquired from second-hand sources. As part of the rebuild process, the units were equipped with specially equipped cabs from Curry Rail Supply, dubbed Admiral Cabs, due to their outward slanting front windshields for improved visibility, a naval design feature attributed to a retired U.S. Navy Admiral on the NS Board of Directors. The new crash-worthy cab design also includes new battery boxes, sub-base for air brake and HVAC systems, and new low short hood with improved collision protection. Here's a look at the midsection of the NS Admiral Cab rebuilt SD40-2. Now despite being rebuilt, some of its unique details from its previous identity are still present. This unit, NS3216, was originally a Southern Railway high short hood unit of the same number. Built early on in SD40-2 production in 1973. Some of those features, such as the staggered vertical fuel sight glasses, standoff style ECAFB cabinet, chicken wire radiator style grills, and early extended range dynamic brake housing with riveted batten strip are all visible here. Moving to the long hood end, we see some of the distinctive details of these rebuilt units. As part of the rebuild process, any remainder of the class lights these units were built with were deleted and completely smoothed over. The same applied to the round radiator plumbing access knockouts that were originally mounted to the upper corners of the long hood end of these as well as any other Dash 2 series locomotives. A rear anticlimber was also retrofitted to the rear pilot face, along with ditch lights. On these ScaleTrains.com rivet counter series sound equipped models, which feature ESU Loke Sound 4.0 full throttle sound, all lighting, headlight, number board and ditch light are illuminated with LEDs. And true to prototype, the sound equipped NS versions feature ditch lights that alternately flash when the horn is blown. 
Well, now that you've had a chance to take a closer look at our SD40-2 models in our rivet counter line, we hope that you can see the difference. For more information, you can always follow us on Facebook or check out our webpage at www.scaletrains.com. Thanks again for watching.